I'm going to attempt to survive 100 days in Brawl Stars without breaking any real life law. And that means no murder, no property damage, no mining without a permit, no child abuse, no giant robots, nothing. Oh, and no brawlers who carry firearms because we're not in the US. This challenge will also be a Nuzlocke of 32 randomly chosen brawlers, meaning if I commit a crime or lose a game with a brawler, that brawler goes to jail and I can't play them anymore. Day 1 began with Gale and I was really optimistic because Gale uses a snowblower, which isn't an illegal item or a weapon, and all I had to do was not kill and not pick up gems. I'm just gonna keep pressure here. But it was on day one itself that I was reminded of how difficult this challenge was going to be. And that's because I was playing against instincts I've been building up for over two years of Brawl Stars. And soon enough, my instincts took over me and I ended up rushing to pick up a gem. I was playing with the kid. I was picking up a gem. And it picked the gem. <laughs> And just like that, I'd already lost my first brawler. And with 99 more days to go, we were off to a really bad start. My second brawler was Surge, and we did have better luck with him. But Surge had another advantage. Currently, there are no laws surrounding what AI robots do, and therefore, Surge was actually immune to the law. Day 2 gave me a tick, which was really lucky because there are no laws in the real world that stop me from killing robots either. And Day 3 gave me a zombie Brock, which was also great since that meant he was already dead. And that's a point to note for the rest of the challenge. I'm allowed to kill robots and brawlers who are dead or ones that were immortal like Mortis. After a very close call with the gem mine on day 4, we did manage to win, but day 5 gave us a big challenge. Oh, I gotta be careful even when I'm attacking because this is all squishy is weird. I'm just gonna be here because of... Oh. No, I'll be... Oh, this time. Okay, I love this guy. No! Nice. I oh! Have... That's not good. I can't do anything. I can't attack anything. I'll kill them in like one shot. No. The third brawler, Colette, was a much better option since she did damage as a percentage of the brawler's current health and while we managed to keep control for the entire game and things went quite well to begin with, I ended up getting a little too comfortable with my shots. And when I attacked that Byron, I'm gonna kill him. Yeah, I'm not even gonna try, I'm not even gonna try. A few moments later... <laughs> Lou was our next brawler on day 7, and even though no laws would apply to a robot, Lou is a snow cone machine, meaning that in real life, someone would be arrested if a snow cone machine killed someone. And on day 7, at the worst possible moment, disaster struck. I can attack the no, robot. Wait, wait. My, my legs died. Nice. Get out of there, Meg. And that's genius. Just like Colette before him, Lou was lost within the first day we played him. Within the first 7 days, I was down to 28 brawlers and things were looking quite bleak. Our next brawler was Ruffs and for the first time ever, we actually managed to get a win streak going. Wait a minute Z, didn't you say no firearms were allowed? Well, we decided to make an exception for Ruffs and one more brawler. Ruffs because being a colonel, he would be allowed to carry his gun. And the other brawler because their gun might as well have been a low voltage taser. But we'll get to that soon enough. Days 8 to 12 went incredibly well with Ruffs. But on day 13, we had a bad game that unfortunately ended the 5 game win streak we had with him. Still, it made me confident that if I got a brawler that I was better at playing like Fang or Ems, we could do a much higher streak. The sixth brawler was Buzz, which went more or less smoothly from days 14 to 18. I'm just gonna stand here because they're definitely gonna walk through again and charge at my super. But on day 17, however, I made a fatal mistake. I couldn't attack Ruffs since dogs have sensitive ears and Buzz's weapon was a whistle. We didn't need to commit animal abuse, which means my only realistic matchup was Stu, but when I did finally get a good stun onto him, this happened. <laughs> I definitely could have avoided losing Buzz, but on the plus side, I did actually hit my super. The next brawler was Ash. Since Ash throws trash, I of course had to look up if that was legal. <laughs> Wait, I'm really googling that. It is not illegal, but it's inappropriate and disrespectful, and I am okay with that. What the hell? Yeah, sure, let's go. As lasted through the entirety of day 18. Day 19 wasn't as easy. The M's and the Chrome matchups were fine, but I couldn't play aggressive at all because the Sandy stuck close to them and I didn't want to risk killing him. This made it impossible for me to rush them. We ended up losing Ash on the second day we played him. Fang was our next brawler, and the first game should have been easy because I had more experience playing Fang than the average 600 trophy player. But to my misfortune, both Mortis and Surge were carrying gems on day 20, meaning that I risked collecting the gems if I killed them, which would be both murder as well as robbery, even though I was allowed to kill them. We did manage to survive day 20 though. I entered day 21 with a lot of optimism, and I was especially happy to see Surge and Mortis again. In this challenge, I could kill Surge, and since I hard countered Mortis, it was going to be a very easy game. But that was when this happened. I'm gonna kill your babies, Eve. 
Oh shit, wait, 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 wait. I killed Eve's babies. Yeah, I ended up killing one of Eve's babies, and I don't think I need to tell you guys why that was a problem. Amusingly enough, brawler number 10 was Eve. Day 22 went quite well, and after his terrible misplay in the last game... Oh, f***, that was so bad! Nope managed to redeem himself in this game. Run. I think I did the redemption arc. On day 23, we were having a very smooth game until Crow decided to do something reckless. Oh no, Crow, 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 Crow. Oh shit, I threw an egg at a bird. The 10th brawler was Janet, whom I played for the next three days. And exactly like Colette, I got too greedy, killed the enemy Byron on day 26. Within the first 26 days, I lost 10 out of 30 brawlers and was left with just 20. I was disappointed, but not discouraged. And that was because my next brawler was Frank. For the second time in this challenge, I could go nuts. And go nuts, I did. No, I can't kill everyone. Uh, I'm a zombie. I can, as, as I have zombie powers. No, oh, never mind, you're stunned. Oh, that's a nice escape. Hello. 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 <laughs> Hello. Um, I'm gonna be a, li a little troll. I'm just gonna walk in. <laughs> Get over yeah. here. A Mortal Kombat reference What? That is our secret weapon. Day 29 gave us a comp that actually hard countered us, but it didn't matter because we were too good for them. I managed to finish day 32 off with a beautiful goal and actually became really optimistic about our chances again. But I may have jinxed us. I hope we don't get completely countered and run over in this next game. Definitely not gonna happen. Surely me laning against Daryl is a good idea. Oh, that's first goal. This is looking very good. <laughs> he is just super thinking of super. <laughs> Frankie, my boy. Oh, oh, oh. This. Talking about jinxing. Wait, you don't worry. I think we will make a comeback. No, yes. Frank currently held the longest win streak of the challenge with six games. Day 34 began with an L as I lost BB after the enemies forced us away from the goal before scoring. And with the next brawler B, I couldn't use the charge shot on anyone, so I had to keep throwing that away. But we got through day 35 all right. However, on day 36, I was put in a position that was impossible to defend. Oh. <laughs> Edgar was such a useless brawler in this challenge since I can't get any kills and Edgar is built to jump on enemies and spam shots until they die so I was mostly just running around the map until we lost. Day 38 was Griff's day to shine but we almost messed it up. However, Day 38 was otherwise a smooth game. Okay, running them down. What? Nice. Day 39 was a winning game for us but in overtime I ended up killing the max. Oh no no no! <laughs> Half of my brawlers were now gone, and we hadn't even reached 40 days. Things were once again looking incredibly bleak. Fortunately, the next brawler was Sam, and while I wasn't allowed to throw my knuckle busters at people for obvious reasons, we had a good round with him up to day 44. On day 45, we had a rocky start with the enemy scoring the first goal. Oh my god, he's a god, no! Give me, give me, give me. We did manage to score the second one and equalize the game, but it wasn't enough for us to survive the day. Sam's win streak of 5 couldn't beat Frank, but our next brawler managed to do just that. And that brawler was Spike. Now the cool thing about Spike is that he's a cactus and cacti have no rights. Aww. But it's exactly what we needed. Since a cactus can't be arrested or put on trial, Spike was quite possibly the most OP brawler on this challenge and boy he did he show it. From day 46 we zoomed through the games and up until day 50 we had a very very smooth run. We had completed 50% of the challenge and things were looking great. And that's when day 51 happened. Jackie ran us down and we lost the first goal and from that point on it became an uphill battle. I was already feeling a little discouraged but I wasn't about to lose Spike yet so I I pulled out my secret weapon. A long time ago, YouTubers were masters of the video realm who gained fame, fortune and influence through a weapon of great power. Some used this weapon for good, while others used it for evil. And this power was called the like button. And now, in order to avoid losing Spike, I too summoned the power. We kept fighting as the clock began to count down to the last seconds. Tris, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Wow. With the very close final game, we pushed the game into overtime and managed to survive day 51 by the skin of our teeth. Oh, nice so be sure to leave a like for future videos. Days 52 and 53 it played out well, but on day 54 we once again found ourselves in a tight spot. Okay. Okay, wait, that's time for this. 
That's not good. Oops. We haven't got this. Oh my god. We got this. No! I had just lost Spike and it felt like a punch to the gut because we probably couldn't get a brawler like Spike for the entirety of this challenge again. Spike however now held the record for the longest win streak with 8 games and with 46 days left in the challenge we had to play a lot more carefully now. Day 55 was Crow's turn in the field. Crow being a bird was also except from the law. The first Crow game was a very difficult one but we managed to take the win eventually. Day 56 was uneventful but on day 57 I managed to score a goal by walking all the way across the map from spawn. Day 58 to 61 went smoothly but on day 62 Stefano and Nope screwed up our first goal attempt. Oh, oh you almost missed it. Thankfully I saved the next one and managed to win the game. Oh Whoa. nice so You're all Day 63 started out bad and I was convinced that we could make a comeback here but I made one terrible super allowing the enemy to score the second goal. Oh. I ruined it. What? No. Crow also survived for 8 days, leaving him only one win short of beating Spike's record. The next brawler, Leon, faced the exact same issue with the enemy buzz getting a stun goal onto us. We almost did get a goal at one point, but with only 25 seconds left, there was simply too much pressure from the opponents for us to do anything about it. Next brawler is Toby Maguire. In what? He's gonna put some dirt in your eye. <laughs> I'm gonna put some dirt in your eye. Toby, um, I mean Sandy could have been a better game. But my mental autopilot turned on and I lost him within 20 seconds of the game starting. Oh no! No! I killed... Hmm. So I just lost 3 brawlers in a row, meaning I only had 12 brawlers left to carry me through 35 days. And next up was the second brawler allowed to carry her gun, Meg. So Meg barely did anything but a super was illegal as it's not legal for people to build their own super weapons on a whim. And I realized that it would work in our favor since getting kills would be very difficult which was the case from day 66 to 68. But on day 69 that belief came back to bite me in the ass when I accidentally killed a BB with a Meg shot. <laughs> oh wait no 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 I- oh no. With Meg sent off to Juvie, our next brawler was the one, the only Mortis. And Nope was the best player in my Discord, so boy was I going to show him my epic skills. wasn't the best game but at least we won. In fact we did keep winning racking up a streak of 8 games from day 70 to 77 with day 76 actually finally letting me get a proper chain off. I'm waiting for you to... Nice that's good okay. Nice wait. Good job Z nice. Day 77 pitted us against a full counter comp which we won easily. And because of this win trick, I decided to do something I've been wanting to do forever. Simply taking off Mortis' hat makes him a very bad brawler. And I was going to use his win streak to finally break that curse. And so I entered day 78. And lost. Yeah, that didn't work out very well. And I guess no head Mortis is just not meant to be. The next brawler was Tara. And while Ali made a clutch play to save a goal, that same play ended up working against us. And we lost Tara on day 79. Day 80 began with Gene and went quite smoothly. Day 81 was not as smooth. Never mind, I'm Gene, I'm Gene, I'm Gene. Oh. Over. Okay, never mind. It, it heals. <laughs> wow. Get back. Dad, come on. Okay, oh, for, oh, boo. Add to the misery, I lost Max the next game. No. Oh. Mr. P was the next brother coming out on day 83. What would have been a perfect game was ruined by me killing the enemy BB. Good job, Z. Oh, you killed a BB! With 17 days left but only 6 brawlers left, it was time for Sprout. Now, with Sprout being a robot like Surge, we actually had a bit of a win streak that carried us through day 84, 85 and 86. Day 87 though was not our proudest moment. Like, break the wall. Getting any kills in the first place. You love on this. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Um, um. Wait, no. The nice dog. Sad. Oh no. The next brawler was Byron, with whom I was limited to only hitting my teammates because poisoning people was obviously illegal. I can't hit Eggy over there. But um, this ended up working against us. Oh, I this auto aim keeps going for the and I hit the. Egg. What? 
Going by my recent win streak, this was not looking good at all. But that's when the RNG gave us a godsend with Squeak. Now Squeak is drool and that puts him in the same category as the dead brawlers and animal brawlers in that he can't be held accountable for any crimes and this was very very good because at my lowest moment I'd been given a brawler I could play freely and with Squeak we got our first win streak in a long time pushing from day 89 all the way to day 92 and then came day 93 <laughs> No, no, we're so close Walkie TMZ like actually, oh, he ran right into it. It's very random gadget placement. Wait, oh, 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 the next brawler was Ems. Now if there's one brawler I play with maximum confidence, it's Ems. And luckily for us, Ems was a mummy, so she too had legal immunity. Fingers crossed, we entered day 94. Let's just hope I'm not too washed. Oh, nice. That is so far, he's too far. Nice. nice. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Maybe don't die here. Nice. Day 95 wasn't exactly easy either, and the whole game was a stalemate until at the very last second the enemy RT made a shot. Get this up. No! Luckily, I managed to block it and no paid back with his own goal, and with luck, we made it through day 95. Nice! Let's go. Day 96 put us against a very aggro combo, and in spite of my best efforts, I failed to stop them from scoring a goal. Okay. Oh, that was a good timing. <laughs> and that was bad timing. But we didn't let up and equalized the game in the second with some impressive teamwork. Okay, someone do something, someone do something quickly. Okay, nice. Yeah, go. Nice, here we go. And then it came down to overtime, which was perhaps the most intense 30 seconds of the entire challenge. Wait for me. Um, got the slow, we got the slow. Come in, come in, come in, come in. See? Uh, I'm so wrong, playing so bad. Okay, yeah. only the bus left. Okay, got the kill. Hands away, hands away, Come on! Come on, oh my god. Yeah, okay. Okay, GG's. Day 96 gave us our first draw, and since the rules only said that I lose the brawler if I lose the game, I got to keep M's for the next day. On day 97, we managed to put much better pressure than the last time, but once Nita got Bruce going, there was nothing we can do. Yeah. No, okay, he's going to walk it in. No, Bob. No, no, no. Best, no. best. Try and come no. in. Oh, okay. Just get me. Yeah, we're damage. I don't have enough. No. I don't really know what happened in those last moments, but I had no time to think because we were down to our last two brawlers, three more days left in ish. Stu was next, and on day 98, we had a very close call. No, oh my god. Oh, this is bad. This is really bad. Oh, me? He clashed with that. Thanks to Nob's incredible 8 bit defense, we gathered ourselves together and pushed upwards. Come on, come on. Scorch, you gotta go. Oh, oh, catch him falling. The rest of the game was just pure defense, but we managed to keep it together. Okay, let's see. What was it on? No! Oh, Shelly, no. We have any FK, that's good. The AFK? Okay, yes. Nah, he has FK. Not FK. Ah, oh, he's trolling. No. <laughs> Okay, let's try it. We can try it. We can try it. Okay, Shelly Super. Nah. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna. No, why could I say that? No. <laughs> now we can get rid of that easily. No. Okay, shit. It's the speed gadget. Oh, how is Shelly? And uh, this was it. We had one day left and one brawler left. And that brawler was Rico. But just like Lou, Rico was based on something in real life. So he wasn't immune to the law like Sp Surgeon Sprout. This meant I couldn't kill human brawlers on the last day of the challenge. Here's how it went down. Hi. Oh no, RCM, RCM, we're dead, we're dead, dead. Oh, yo, no, no, no. In the first round, I had a really close call with the fake RZM64, but I managed to secure the win. Okay. I think I got the mods, I think I got the mods, yes. I, I okay, let's go, let's go, the, the last one. In the second round, we lost Ali and Nob got a double kill on the enemy, meaning we were 1v2 against fake ZM. That is good. Ah, shit. Okay. Boom, double kill. Oh no. Nice. nice. Where's it? Get this. Ah, uh, okay. Pension, pension, pension. 
Nice, come on Z, you got this. Wait, KQ, KQ, alright. I can kill the boss. Yes. Let's go. <laughs> and just like that, I have survived 100 days in Brawl Stars without breaking any real life laws. And if you enjoyed that video, then subscribe for more.